If you'd like to explore a great movement practice that's easily accessible, doesn't take a lot of time, and is infinitely variable, you can explore your body's memory of its early infancy and the stages of development that educated your nervous system, your joints, your muscles, and your whole body in becoming a capable human. To start, line up your mat so that just in front of it, barely out of reach, and ideally a bit higher up is an object that you're gonna focus on. In my case, I used a water bottle on a chair. Behind you and also elevated, place another object. I hung my sweater from my gym rings, but you can make up anything that works for you. Lie flat on your belly and practice different ways of reaching for these objects. You really do have to place them barely in reach so that the desire to grasp them engages your entire being. Your sense of sight is integrated with this powerful extension of the spine through the shoulder girdle and arms. The legs, the pelvis, and the core are searching for ways to make it possible for you to reach the object. So try different leg positions. To reach behind you, the trunk has to rotate to stabilize and to find internal actions that increase your coordination. This feeds lots of input and information into your nervous system and particularly into your arms and shoulder girdle all the way down to the fingertips. We're trying to get a lot of these movements happening in our traditional yoga practice through spinal extensions or back bends twists, different balance poses, arm balances. And this is just a different way to access that that feels different because we actually all had to do this. We all have this memory inside ourselves of these developmental stages which were driven not by the desire to perfect some kind of form but because we really wanted to grab that thing or to touch that an infant's work of developing is really a constant workout and if you do this simple practice you could discover just how true that is to increase the integration of the inner and outer to put a bit more load into the movements you can make the reaching and pulling movement connect with an actual object and then move it through space you can also gradually add a heavier weight. So you can begin to load your body with something heavier than a towel or than a water bottle and see how that feels. See what kind of demand that places on the core, on the spinal muscles to stabilize you as you do these movements. Let me know how this feels.